On a seemingly ordinary morning in Sydney, Australia, the peace of an upscale apartment complex was abruptly shattered. Around 10 a.m. on July 30, 2011, a strange noise, possibly screams, came from the 15th floor of a high-rise building, catching the attention of those below. What followed would soon capture the nation's interest and reach beyond international borders, blending tragedy with mystery. At the center of this enigma was Lisa Cecilia Harnum, a vibrant 30-year-old Canadian who tragically fell from her apartment balcony, leaving behind a swirl of unanswered questions. Shortly after her body was discovered, Simon Gidney, her fiancé, emerged from the building, his shock and sorrow evident. A torn note found in Lisa's pocket, suggesting surveillance, only deepened the mystery surrounding her death. As news of Lisa's demise spread, it unfolded like a thrilling story of love, engagement, and a sudden, tragic end. This story began in Toronto, Canada, far from the sunny shores of Australia. Lisa grew up with icy winters and brief summers, and a passion for ballet that shaped her early years with grace and discipline. By age 24, seeking adventure and broader horizons, she moved to Australia on a 12-month work visa. Her charm and energy soon earned her a position at the Australian Hair and Beauty College in Sydney, where she could express her love for fashion and beauty. Despite the distance from her family in Canada, especially her mother Joan, Lisa stayed close through regular calls and messages. In 2009, Lisa met Simon Gittany, a man 10 years her senior, who was entrenched in Sydney's business world as a shoe importer. What started as a practical arrangement of sharing an apartment, given Lisa's initial belief that Simon's interests might lie elsewhere, evolved into a romantic engagement. Their shared apartment, high on the 15th floor of the Hyde, offered stunning views of Hyde Park and became more than just a home. It symbolized their rising status in Sydney's inner city. However, this rapid shift from roommates to engaged partners brought complexity. Lisa's early communications with her mother suggested a relationship that, while outwardly harmonious, lacked the depth often associated with passionate romances. This complexity would later be scrutinized under public and legal examination, hinting at deeper undercurrents. The investigation into Lisa Cecilia Harnum's tragic fall began with urgent and detailed efforts. Sydney's law enforcement and forensic experts worked to piece together the events leading up to her death. The scene at the base of the apartment building was chaotic, with witnesses and emergency responders scrambling to make sense of the incident. Central to the investigation was the examination of evidence from the scene and Lisa's apartment, including the haunting torn note found in her pocket, which hinted at a reality more complex than initially perceived. The discovery of surveillance cameras both inside and outside Lisa Harnum's apartment opened a Pandora's box of questions about privacy, control, and the true nature of her relationship with Simon Giddeny. Forensic teams meticulously examined the apartment, focusing on the balcony from which Lisa fell. A crucial detail emerged. Lisa's fingerprints were missing from the balcony glass, raising questions about her final moments. In contrast, Simon's fingerprints were found on the balcony, adding another layer of complexity. The apartment surveillance system was central to understanding the events but a critical hard drive containing historical footage was notably missing by the time investigators learned of its existence. This missing evidence cast a shadow over the investigation, suggesting a possible attempt to hide what had transpired before Lisa's fall. Despite the missing hard drive, external surveillance cameras provided insights into the aftermath of the tragedy. They captured Simon's visibly distraught exit from the apartment though his reactions offered little clarity on the moments leading up to Lisa's fall. The most damning evidence came from footage of the apartment's front door, showing Lisa attempting to leave but being forcibly pulled back inside by Simon. This footage captured about 65, 69 seconds before Lisa's fall provided a chilling view of their final moments together. 
neighbor testimonies added an auditory layer to the investigation, with reports of Lisa's desperate screams echoing through the building. The sudden silence that followed these cries painted a chilling picture of the events inside the apartment. As the investigation deepened, the evidence began to tell a story far removed from the initial assumption of a tragic accident. The torn note, the absence of Lisa's fingerprints on the balcony, the surveillance footage, and the neighbors' testimonies collectively suggested a complex web of emotions, actions, and possibly intentions. Simon Giddeney's trial for Lisa Harnham's murder drew intense scrutiny from Australia and the international community. The proceedings focused on dissecting the events leading up to Lisa's fatal fall, examining every piece of evidence and testimony, and exploring the dynamics of Simon and Lisa's relationship. A key piece of evidence was the surveillance footage showing Simon forcibly pulling Lisa back into the apartment, which contradicted Simon's account of the events and portrayed a grim final confrontation. The torn note found in Lisa's pocket suggested a level of surveillance and control in their relationship, adding a sinister layer to the trial. The absence of Lisa's fingerprints on the balcony railing, where she allegedly climbed over, raised significant questions. The prosecution argued that Simon, driven by rage and control, had lifted Lisa over the railing, a theory supported by Joshua Rathmel's testimony, who claimed to have seen what he initially thought was a black object, later realized to be Lisa, being unloaded from the balcony. Simon's defense, however, painted a different picture, suggesting Lisa's death was either a tragic accident or a deliberate act of self-harm due to her alleged depressive state. They questioned the physical possibility of Simon lifting Lisa over the balcony and pointed to the undisturbed state of the balcony area, including a treadmill and a potted plant, arguing that any struggle would have displaced these items. The emotional testimonies of neighbors, who reported hearing Lisa's desperate pleas for help, added a haunting element to the trial, underscoring the terror of her final moments. The defense challenged the reliability of these testimonies, suggesting that the intensity of the situation might have clouded witnesses' perceptions. As the trial progressed, the complex nature of Simon and Lisa's relationship emerged, characterized by Simon's controlling behavior and Lisa's sense of entrapment. Text messages and recordings presented by the prosecution revealed a relationship marked by manipulation and fear contrasting sharply with the defense's portrayal of a troubled but loving partnership. The trial became a battleground for two competing narratives, with justice for Lisa hanging in the balance. The outcome would not only determine Simon's fate, but also serve as a poignant reflection on the complexities of human relationships and the fine line between love and control. The trial reached a dramatic conclusion when Justice Lucy McCallum was set to deliver her verdict. After weeks of testimonies, forensic analyses, and legal arguments, the fate of Simon Gidney was finally to be decided. The evidence against Simon was substantial. Surveillance footage, neighbors' desperate cries for help, the controlling dynamics of his relationship with Lisa Harnham, and the chilling note found in Lisa's pocket. Justice McCallum declared Simon Gidney guilty of Lisa Cecilia Harnum's murder. She rejected the defense's claims that Lisa's death was either a tragic accident or a deliberate act of self-harm. Instead, she emphasized the evidence of Simon's controlling behavior and the critical footage showing him forcibly pulling Lisa back into the apartment shortly before her death. The courtroom was filled with emotion as the verdict was read. Simon's new partner, Rachel Louise, who bore a striking resemblance to Lisa and had supported him throughout the trial, voiced her shock and distress. Her reaction reflected the divided public opinion surrounding the case. Beyond the courtroom, the impact of Lisa Harnum's death reverberated widely. The case highlighted the pervasive issue of domestic violence and control, prompting discussions about recognizing the warning signs of abusive relationships and the necessity of supporting victims. In Lisa's honor, 
the Lisa Harnum Foundation was established, aiming to provide services and raise awareness about domestic and family violence. The foundation sought to prevent future tragedies and serve as a lasting tribute to Lisa's memory. Simon Gidani was sentenced to a minimum of 18 years in prison, marking the end of a legal battle, but also sparking broader societal reflections on love, control, and the hidden dangers that can lurk behind closed doors. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.